hello my favorite internet lovers thank you for clicking on this video again and being here with me to gossip yes that is majorly what we do majorly that is exactly what we do here on the crocs so you know how we do it we give you like the gist because i've noticed that things are always happening in the nigerian entertainment industry while you're asleep men are busy sewing tires like literally just happens every now and again and we're here to give it to you my name is story welcome i'll be right back all right so we're going to start today's episode on your free keynotes you know now naramali we know how very vocal naramali can get about his life his escapades especially physical physical escapades with other people or you know of, of people he's done stuff with or you know the type of things i'm talking about is naira mali for christ's sake well apparently at the top of his list of fantasies is a threesome with the mother and her daughter the mother should he was very he was very explicit he was very emphatic about it <laughs> he said and i quote the mother should be less than 40 and the daughter 18 and above so Yes, that's what Naramali wants to get to. He says he's going to get to it, whether anybody likes it or not. Look, from me to you, Naramali, you go ahead and do you, all right? Do you. Speaking of people that are actually doing them and loving their lives, Davido just copped his very first, I said cop, because that's like a word, it's a thing, yeah? <laughs> Davido just copped his first Rolls Royce, people. 2021 Rolls Royce. I don't know cars, but this car looks good and it is very david do like so he came out on instagram to say yo i just and he said something he said who the zuzu <laughs> hey so he's not choking again we're not choking we're zuzuing actually yeah according to david he's like yes he actually copped his very i'm saying cop a lot of times he's gotten his very first rose royce people the car is beautiful and Stay, you know, tightens to your seats. It is worth 183 million naira. That's a lot of money. But of course, please, like I said earlier, do you, David? Now, while a lot of people are getting excited for David saying, yo, David, well done. Shatawale all the way from Ghana is like, please, <laughs> please, if you want to make noise, make noise with your money, not with your father's money. I did say that, Shatawale did. But of course, who am I to say whether it is his father's money or David's money? Hey, hey, still on the matter of people talking about father's money or not. We all know Ote Dola's daughter. The one who is very, 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 very much of an internet lover. Florence, aka DJ Copy. Now, she came online recently to say that a lot of people are actually taking advantage of the fact that she is a Bologna heiress. So she saw a painting of herself, a very beautiful painting actually. She saw it online and she asked, she's like, please, I want to buy this painting. And then someone directed her to another person, to another person, finally finding the artist whose name is actually, should I say the name? No, I won't. <laughs> anyway, so the artist actually bills DJ Copy to say that the art is worth 1.5 million naira. Okay, for a painting of DJ Copy. And DJ Copy is like, you guys are trying to take advantage of me. Do you think they're trying to take advantage of her? Or really, can you really put price on art? Isn't it invaluable? I mean, think about it. I'll be right back for more. All right. Now, Burner Boy recently made a revelation. I call it a revelation because I didn't know. I'm, I'm not sure you did. None of us knew that he isn't a Nigerian artist. Like, really? He isn't? I want to get into what exactly makes you an artist of a place, of a locality. So you say someone is an American and they sing, so they're an American artist. Someone is, a, is from Kenya and they sing, so they are, you know, they're, for, they're like a Kenyan artist, right? Apparently, Brenna, even though he's from Nigeria and reps his motherland a lot in all of his song, songs, he's all about, you know, my people, yeah, grew up in this place, oh, yo, giant of Africa. Apparently, he's not a Nigerian artist. So please, next time you're making a list of Nigerian artists that you know, do not, do not include Brenna Boy because he says he isn't. Why did he say that? Well, he says he doesn't make money from Nigerians, like... Now, just cruise, according to him, we're just 
you know, now just cruise. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the details exactly of how money is made in this music business. It's not like I know a lot, but at least I know like a bit of the gist. But this is not what that is about. I'm just going to tell you that if you're making a list of Nigerian artists, do not include Burner Boy. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on from that, we're going to talk about something really sad. So there's been a certain twist to the Tagbo incident that happened in 2017. Davido's friend, Davido's late friend Tagbo that died in 2017. I don't know if you all remember that from like a drinking incident. There's been like a lot of stories around this guy's death. A lot of people have been blamed. You know, Aloma, um, Davido's former PA that was actually present at the party. Davido, everybody has actually been blamed, you know, been called out to say, yo, what happened to Tagbo? Well, the latest gist to this is that Aloma came out to say in a podcast with Jabless that he was offered 100 million naira to complicate, sorry, I'm sorry, implicate David in the gist, like in the incident, to say that David was the killer of Tabo. That is very, very nasty. Now, he actually said it and he said a lawyer, um, Tabo's lawyer, uh, one of that person that he refused to name, yes, and the DPO of, you know, the police station where they were held at said, look, this is a blank check of 100 million naira. just sign it. All you have to do is say that David killed Tagbo and the money is all yours. According to him, he did not take the money and he's very glad that he didn't. So what do we know? I mean, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to tell you about Lighter. I'm sure you've been hearing that lighter, 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 lighter. You've been hearing that name a lot on the, you know, on the internet, yo, internet lovers. Well, I'm going to give you the gist. So lighter's baby mama, Kemi Ayorinde, called him out to say that, oh, I like Ayorinde, called him out to say that you have not given me anything ever since our son was born. Actually calling him a dead, a deadbeat father. Like the only thing he's giving to her is 40,000 naira ever since their son was born that's that's sad well that's what she said and she dragged him online and we trust social media people to join in the dragon now i need you to know that lighter is 22 years old and kemi is 21 so two very young people coming together to have a baby and the rest as they say is history you people know what you're saying on social media babies having babies expecting you know who to raise who but then again Kemi complaining that Lighter isn't bringing anything to the table finally got Lighter to speak up. In a recent gist, Lighter says, look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry I haven't contributed as much as I should, all right? Forgive me. He did not deny nor confirm her allegations or her story, but he just said, look, I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to tell you something. According to thinknews.com.ng, Lighter is actually, Lighter's net worth is actually estimated to be about 28 million naira. With that type of net worth and not being able to bring anything to the table for his baby and the baby mama, what do you think? Should we believe everything we read on the internet, people? Help me out here, I'm confused. Look, I know you have opinion on this gist and every other thing I've talked about. Don't you dare hesitate to leave them in the comment section. Tell me what you think of all the gist from Tagbo to, you know, Lighter, the recent one, to Burner Boy not being our artist, apparently. And of course, Davido with Shatawale, throwing shades, that type of thing, and every other thing I talked about. Tell me what you think. I'm really, really always looking forward to reading all that you guys have to say. Thank you so much for staying tuned. You know my new story. I love you guys. This is Novice to Star TV. Thank you.